Hey everybody, this is All Stream That back with the second episode for my lightweight career. And I've chosen the fight against Wayne Owens in the last episode. And it is a low hype, uh, three week camp. And it should actually be a fairly easy fight, uh, but he was the one with the least amount of losses, and that's the one I really wanted to take. So let's go ahead and jump right into the contract goals. I need to win two fights in a row, and I need to win the next two fights by stoppage in the first round as an optional goal. So let's schedule the camp. So we have three gyms that we can join. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the boxer gym. Uh, that's a lot better, I think, than just a basement gym. Okay, so let's schedule our camp here three weeks we have enough money for that okay and we have 100 points that we can spend each week so with promoting I could do that but I'm not I don't think I'm going to do that for this fight uh, what I am going to do is let's learn some moves and perks. So this... These should be fairly simple. So land 10 punches on your training partner without missing 3. I think I can do that. focused on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. Way to work. Perfect. And there it is. Nice job. So with that, we got the body hook and the jab, and we have the vengeful perk. Let's apply the perk first. So when suffering a hell, I will deal more damage. Lovely. And let's get the moves. So our jab went up two levels. And our body hook went up one level. And we have two more of those that we can do. We're going to do one of those every week. We have 60 points that we can spend. So let's go ahead and do the rope-a-dope. The agility ladders and the box drills. Okay, so we have a hundred points again, so let's go and learn something else. Land 10 punches in 15 seconds, or 20 punches without missing 5 in 45 seconds. Let's do the 10 punches in 15 seconds. I'm sure we can do that. All right, more accurate here. I want to see high percentage shots. Nice combination. Keep that up and get the knockdown. There we go. Nice shot. That's how champions and There train. we go. With 8 seconds left. We have a level 3 body hook, a level 3 lead elbow, and the zero in perk. Okay, 
increase accuracy attribute by one after after four consecutive composts. Okay. They spelled four wrong, or they're really bad at English. So we have a new body hook and a higher lead elbow. Do the dumbbell shadow boxing. Let's do the wrestling class. Let's do that one. Okay, 84% moderate. Okay, 84% is our fitness. That's so moderate. <coughs> And now we have 100 again. So let's go ahead and learn the last one. Smart with our punches. I want to see a high accuracy. 20 punches without missing five. There we go. Touch him up. That's perfect. That's this it. is easy. That's how you land shots. There we go. So we have an overhand and heavy hands. Let's apply the perks. Plus one for all hooks. And we have an overhand. go so we continue let's go ahead and spend 20 points and then we will do our spar and let's do both of those the trip takedowns and the grappling defense Then we go and we spar. Nice block. Nice block. Okay, there we go. We're overtrained. We are overtrained at 110%. Okay, so our opponent doesn't like elbows. Good to know. And now it's fight week.
And I've got a two inch reach on him. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, this might be quick. Knocked him down. Let's get him. If we can. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's done. He's done. First round stoppage. He could not handle it. As soon as I saw that I could start landing headshots with those feet, I knew it was going to be over and it was going to be over quick. And then as soon as I was able to get on top of him, it was done. Alright, that was a very low hype. So let's go ahead and continue. And I think we're going to go ahead and do one more fight. So who has the lowest number of losses? Oh, we only have... We only have one. Let's accept that fight. Okay, let's schedule the camp. And we won't have enough for those. So let's stay with this one. We can't learn any new moves. But what we can do... Ah. Okay, Dana White will be looking at me for looking for a fight. So let's see what we can do for this. And let's actually do some promoting here. We don't have anything that we can learn. Okay. So it's all just flat out training. Okay, we're just kind of going through and taking whatever we can get here. Let's do the trip takedowns again. We may not need four week training camps here.
Okay, we're just kind of going through and taking everything that we can get here. Again. And let's actually go to the next week because I don't want to be too, I don't want to be too trained like I was last time. I think that. I think that eventually that could hurt. So that right there should work. That's at 85. Let's go ahead and do our sparring session. Okay, this guy's a clincher. Wow. Nice block. Okay, I'll let him take me down. I'll go to full guard. Then I'll get up. Good block. Wow. Every time I tried to throw that kick. Every time. There we go, 100% fitness. Okay, he will blitz me at the start of each round. Okay. That's another thing that's good to know. So I'm not going to rush in. I'm going to hang back a little bit and just start blocking. President Dana White, and we're always looking for up-and-coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent, but I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions, and I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. That was nice. That was very nice. Okay. So I've got a five inch. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can knock him out. This should be interesting. Okay, it's not letting me do what I want to do here. Come 
come on, get on him, get on him, get on him. He's out. First round stoppage. Beautiful man. And that's what we do. We get him down on the ground, we cover him, and hit him till they're down. Hope that was good enough for Dana White. It's a good fight hype. Well, it was low, but I mean, I gained quite a few fans. That kid has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. We're going to do this. We're going to give him a shot in the UFC. All right. Okay, so Louis Robertson, the guy that I just fought, I'm coming for you. You'll see this face soon. Would be fun to fight again. Contract earned. And I'm a rookie. Ooh, look at that. 15,000 to show, 10,000 for a win. Win all fights on contract by stoppage. Let's go. So is that the only goal? That is not. That's actually an optional goal. So one fight to high height. Win all fights by stoppage. And beat my rookie rival. Okay. Perfect. So let's go and see who's available for fighting. So we have Cameron Cote, he's 15 and 4. We have Wayne Owens, again, who's 11 and 2. And we have Benjamin Adams, who is 15 and 4. I've already fought Wayne Owens, I think. Let's see with Wayne Owens, it's an earlier debut. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fight Cameron Cote. I mean, none of these guys are really better than me. So it's an easy first fight either way. Let's go ahead and let's fight Wayne Owens again. And that one there should be an easy fight. It's early debut. So we will accept that fight. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. And uh, join us next time when we make our UFC debut. My name is Allstream That. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.